The generals on the streets of Zimbabwe's capital say this isn't a coup. But the tanks perhaps suggest otherwise. That other big indicator, newsreaders on state TV being replaced by men in berets. This army spokesman had this message about the president. Comrade Araji Mugabe and his family are safe and sound and their security is guaranteed. We are only targeting criminals around him. After years of misrule, will President Mugabe's grip on power loosen in the next few days? The ruler of Zimbabwe, since it gained independence from the UK in 1980, is now under house arrest. We are very concerned about the situation in Zimbabwe. South Africa's President like Zuma, one of the few to speak trade. to him. I have also <coughs> contacted His Excellency President Mugabe, <coughs> whom I had time to talk to, and he is fine, but confined in his home. The seeds of his possible downfall were sown last week. Mugabe publicly sacked his deputy, Emerson Munangagwa, and accused him of treachery. It left Mr Mugabe's wife, Grace, in pole position to be the next president. Such a blatant move by this dynasty-building dictator was a step too far. Some reports suggest she may now have fled Zimbabwe. For the first time, it's led to a visible chasm between the army and the president. The 80s, this was our afternoon edition. But this journalist working on one of Zimbabwe's main newspapers told us the drama of the last 24 hours was predicted by some. Change was, you know, long overdue. That what we have right now is probably a, a certain level of hope because people have almost given up on, you know, the, the, the political and economic situation we had in the country. <laughs> Even Zimbabwe's Influential War Veterans Association, once a staunch supporter of Mugabe, has turned against him. How much longer can the president remain president?